right, so let's show you the map again. So you know where I'm at. I'm right here. This is right by the uh, the, the chair lift. So this is the area I'm going to be going along and following the path around to this area here. Yeah, right, we got Rocky Mountain Goat. So these guys from the from the chair lift there. Really cool. These guys are mountain goats, so they're used to climbing on all these types of rocks. So that's the perfect habitat for these type of animals. I said, where do all the trees go? All right, Water's Edge, Africa. All right, African beaches. All right, African penguin. Get the African penguin. Here's the younger one in the center. Janet! Out for a walk. Alright, so I misspoke when I said that the one was a younger penguin. All three of these are adults. She just had her molting. That's what he do with a catastrophic molt and they lose all their feathers all at once. And then their big feathers grow in. So she's just in the process of growing her in her feathers. This is more of uh, the penguin beach with all the water. We got penguins of the world. Okay, Emperor, King, Gentoo, Yellow-Eyed, I've never seen that anywhere before, Royal, Magellanic, Macaroni, and Adelel, and of course African, which we see right here, Chinstrapped, Erect Crested, Humboldt, Snares, Forlin, Rockhopper, Galapagos, and I can't see the last one. Or Adapted for Sea Life. But plenty more of the African penguins are indoors. It definitely smells like penguins in here. She is swimming in the water. I'm like, they was having an argument over here a second ago. Whoa, big old white pelican. That's a cool bird right here. They do like pelicans and they love the water. Just swimmy, swimmy, swimmy. All right, African rivers. We got a guinea pig. I've had a guinea pig as pets before. So they might all be inside because I do not see any of the guinea pig out here. Like a common warthog. Alright, so I'm assuming the warthog has other habitat. Don't see him over here at the moment. Got a ring tailed lemur. I see some ring tails over there. Just so his tail sticking up. There's several tails. Several other lunar tails I see sticking up. There we go. Right around the side. Alright, going inside this next building. Got hippopotamus. Alright, got the hippopotamus. Alright. Very nice. 
It's got lots and lots of water. It's a digital hippopotamus habitat. The ecosystem engineers. Here's the second hippopotamus. Oh, I do see the warthog. Try to get a better look for you. All right, I love the primate world. Got naked mole rat. We got all these little tunnels. They're all pretty much congregated in this little cube. It looks like they're all congregated in this sphere right here. These guys are definitely creepy looking and cool looking at the same time. You gotta get all these tunnels that connect to the different areas. Okay, going through. We got golden lion tamarin. Got some food out for them, all sorts of cool stuff to climb on. But they're in the back here. They are so cute. We got Western Lowland Gorilla. Yeah, it's just hanging out. It's very comfortable. They're very comfortable. These are the Western Lowland Gorillas. There's the gorillas, you got Roxy, Quisha, Juju, Asha, and Goma. Where the Western Lowland Gorillas live. And there's the other three. We got Borny and Orangutan. So guys made out of ice. I see it dripping. So these are the other two. It's like mommy and the youngster. So that would mean this would be the daddy right here. He's off having a nap. There's Borny and Orangutan outdoor habitat. And they have the option to come and go as he please indoors or be outside. See, there you go, inside. So that's the rest of the boring orangutans outdoor habitat. Just happened to be here at the right time. A little one went right back inside. Additional indoor boring orangutan habitat. All the little gorillas are up from their mat. <laughs> Getting close. <laughs> we got white cheek given. And we got Debbie, which is the white white cheek given, and Tali, which is the black white cheek given. So this is part of the Habitat here. This is the White Cheek Gibbons Outdoor Habitat. This has got to be where they are. Oh, I do see one. Alright, so I see Debbie, who is asleep out here. Chipmunk! 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 
Man, you're so fast. So I'm trying to find the black white cheap gibbon. You know, the other one's got to be out here somewhere. The other one is out here somewhere because it's not indoors. Maybe just towards the back, possibly. Breaking the handwritten cycle at Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. This is the Western Lowland Gorilla's outdoor habitat, and it is fantastic. Man, they have all sorts of space out here. Again, see their doorway there. They have their option whether they want to be indoors or be out here outside. All right, out here, you get a really good view of the Western Lowland Gorilla's outdoor habitat. Of course, they are all inside. This mountain gorilla or Western Lowland. All right, so most zoos have Western Lowland Gorilla. I don't believe I've ever seen Mountain Gorilla in any U.S. zoo that I've been to. Correct me in the comments if I'm incorrect. I've been to so many different zoos. I sometimes forget the critters that I've seen, but I don't believe I've ever seen the other type of gorilla. There we go, my turn. Moved a little bit, get a better view. Oh my gosh, you're so cute and fuzzy. All right, so I'm working my way back through the building that has the hippopotamus inside. Primate area in the back is a dead end, so you have to go back through the hippopotamus building. All right, so I missed this little path the first time I came through, so now I'm gonna go see what's through here. All right, so I found a guinea pig. Found a guinea pig. Just I've had these guys as pets before. And all these logs go through. Okay, let's not do it all over. Oh, God, I'm too, too heavy to go through some of these. Kind of a little obstacle course. Okay, go. Go across the log. I'm not gonna attempt this though. Go through the rocks without breaking my legs, hopefully. I did it. All right. See, I'm up above here. I see all these people on this little bridge. And I couldn't see how to get to it, and then I saw the path. So this is the warthog's area. So everybody's climbing on the rope bridge. Alright, so why do you not see the warthog? It's not there, it's uh, over there. Alright, get those are outside. Or they were outside, and I always like to go back in. I also get a good view of them for you. Well, high of that view. Oh. Sorry about that, everybody. Oh, so this, of course, is a lemur island. Lots of lemur tails. Lots of lemur tails. Alright, so now the hippos went inside, the bridge is empty. Alright, so back on the side of the African penguin area, and you can see the 
white pelican. <laughs> All right, so I'm heading back towards the entry area as this now completes my initial walkthrough. There were only a few animals that I did not get to see, but most of them are off the main path, so I'm gonna try and do a rewalk for certain areas and hopefully get to show them to you. Can't make any promises though. All right, I came back to African Lion and he kind of moved around a lot. You see the male lion up on the top and the two female, because I didn't even see the, the second female this morning. Now, there is a lot of wind right now. All right, so I came back to the Joffrey's Marmoset and it was not out. So I apologize, but this is a no-go. Most zoos I've been to have the black and white taper. This is all black paper. Kind of just standing there. Trying to see if it'll raise its head up. There we go. Well, if you see the muscovy ducks, they're out! I wasn't expecting to see them. I see muscovy ducks all the time back home. Usually by retention ponds and lakes. Yeah. Alright, Colorado's native butterflies. So I don't see butterflies, but I see a lot of the peafowl or peacock. But you do have a very nice butterfly garden. But no butterflies, plenty of peacocks. So this is the peacock garden now. They claim it as their own. The goats ever trying to get food. Pass it by the goats again. I stop and say, Bah. Why don't I have a goat effectively? Alright, so I came back to North American Wood Duck. Thinking maybe they would be out since I saw some of the other birds, but still don't see them. So North, no North American wood duck. But this is what the North American wood ducks look like. A little better view of the moose. Slightly better view anyway. All right, back at the mountain lion. The one here, second one. So there is supposed to be three of them in here. I also just noticed I lost my microphone cover, so I'm going to check back. Hopefully it's still there. I don't know where I lost it at, unfortunately, but perhaps someone will turn it in for me. I don't know. Got two more male peacock and a female. Yeah. All right, came back to the river otter. <laughs> the river otter is out, playing in the water. Ooh, otters. That's exactly what I said I wanted to see. Sorry, excuse me. Jordan. Ivan. Where's your backpack? Your backpack under your bed. Come on. Oh, another one. Did that peacock get that little boy? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, I thought it was that little boy. <laughs> oh, <I'm> <laughs> 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 All right, well, the tiger moved. Still sleeping, but you get much better view of them. All right, back in the palace cat 
habitat and the sun has moved so there's not as much reflection and I see him now very nice it's not sure if this is Bo or Nancy well he's got one of them alright now I see the leopard So cool, just about every animal that I came back to see, I've gotten to see. Always pays to come back, folks. Now I'm pretty sure this is the Amur leopard and not the snow leopard. Yeah, the snow leopard's more white. This has a little bit of yellow in them. So that's the Amur leopard. All right, so I saw the Amur leopard walking around. Come back hoping to see the snow leopard. But I do not see the snow leopard. This is what the snow leopard looks like. Sadly, I won't be able to show me because I don't see it. Alright, I came back and the grizzly bear is out. Very nice. So almost all the animals I missed this morning are out. There we go. Very nice looking grizzly bear. All right, so the lynx that I thought was in its habitat is up here indoors or in the upper portion of its habitat. I missed it this morning, my first walkthrough. So this is one of the other animals that I missed. There's two of the grizzly bears now. Just by the way they're like moving around. Moving around. The way Very they're nice. Look, look, look. Didn't even see the other one. Yeah, they're just play fighting. Alright, so besides the various bird species that I did not get to see because they were off habitat, I think the only other main animal that I didn't get to see was the snow leopard because I just noticed the lynx and saw the grizzlies so that was everything that I missed my first walk through. I'm going to attempt to go back and try and get a better view of the warthog for you. I tried multiple different views so I can't make any promises that I'll show a better view of the warthog. I got a Virginia opossum Correct. named Hutch. All right, not sure how well it's going to show up because of the sunlight. But the possum is going through this little box for snacks. And I've seen possums at my house. Because they're usually nocturnal. There we go. We're going to go check out my big backyard. Oh, we got chickens. We got the chicken breeds. Here we get Easter Edger chicken. This guy's name is Guy Ferrari. Right. Very nice chicken. Here's another chicken. Hi. Got other chickens. Oh no, you're memorizing. We got Netherland dwarf rabbit. And Holland Lop Rabbit. Oh my god, the cute bunny rabbits. I do love the bunny rabbits. A place for kids and nature. This is the tree house. 
We got Chilean rose hair tarantula. It's a very nice tarantula. We got a Tuscan blonde tarantula. It's a very nice. We got Emperor Newt. I see several of them in here. Got hermit crabs. All right. Now I had hermit crabs when I was very young. Lived in an apartment complex. We couldn't have the traditional animals. It's a frog. Why don't you kiss it? No. Got a tiger salamander. Wow, that's pretty cool looking. A giant African bullfrog. And it's a big froggy. All right, we got axolotl. Those are so cool looking. If you turn to the side, you can see pictures. Got cane toad. All right. African pancake tortoise. Here we go. African pancake tortoise. In here, feed the bunnies. This is nice. I'd expect to see froggies in here. Trees go up and out. And not all rings are created equal. Lighting in trees. Sometimes it hurts, sometimes it helps. All right, so I'm kind of backtracking, seeing if I can find my microphone cover. I asked several people that work here. One lady called up, lost and found, which is over by the Australian section. So I'm hoping someone might have picked it up and either bought it to there or to the ticket center in the front. Or it's possible some little kid has it, thinking it's a toy. I'm not really sure. The problem is, I don't know where it was I lost it. Otherwise, it wouldn't be lost. All right, came back to the American beaver. You see his little beaver tail. I, I, I can see his body. Back to see the wallaby one last time. Well, I come over to check lost and found because it's in this area. So I showed you this earlier. This is remnants of the snow that they got earlier in the week. They got over a foot of snow in certain places in the zoo. All right, hippos are inside. They are doing a demonstration. There's three of them. There's the youngster. Oh, the baby is so cute. Still a big baby. <laughs> Still a big baby. <laughs> Alright, so I finally come back to the common warthogs area. And I don't see him at all now. Saw a glimpse of him earlier. But that's about it. What do you call what the what what do you call the flavor when you get an orangutan? Oh, I do see a yellow crown crane. Didn't see this bird this morning. Or this afternoon rather. So we saw lots of meerkats. I tried to show you Pumba, but unfortunately didn't get a very good view. But this is actually what they look like, just in case you've never seen them, or you never saw the Lion King, for that matter. Come back to the Golden Lion Tamarin. There's the other fuzzy. All right, back at the White Cheek Gibbon. This is Ta. This is Ta Lin that I didn't even see this afternoon. Saw the white when I was outside. So 
All right, everybody, that's gonna do it to my visit to the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo in Colorado Springs, Colorado. I had a fantastic time. A lot of walking, a lot of inclines. Being over 6,000 feet, I'm not used to the elevation, but breathing-wise, doing good. Just a little more out of breath than I usually am. Unfortunately, was not able to find my microphone cover, so I'll make do. I'll try to order a new one online and have it for when I get home, but as far as this trip goes, I'll work through it. I've backtracked everywhere, but besides that, I saw all the animals that I missed the first time, except Snow Leopard was not out in its habitat. I did finally see a sign that I missed. Uh, the Warthog, I got just a very little bit of view for you the first time I came through here. Unfortunately, I don't see it now at all. It's as good as it's gonna get. So leave some comments down below what your favorite zoo animal was that I saw today. Leave some other comments, questions, suggestions, things like that. So if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. The bulk of my views are still from non-subscribers. So if you like zoos, aquariums, theme parks, kind of content you'll find on my channel, subscribe. Always doing new videos every Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I release a new video. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.